travelling to my sites, working my bees. G'day, my name's Alan Teske. My main aim in beekeeping is to experiment and to obtain as much honey from the hives as possible. What we have got here is from the base right through to the tie down straps. All the different sections on my right side is full depth honey production hives and on the left is nucleus hives. On the far side you'll see little ladders on the floor of the base that is telling me that the rises are too deep. The next one to the left is a vented base that will only last about three or four times through the irradiation plant before it falls apart. I have a couple of experimental hives. I find too much debris or debris on the floor on the ground, which I consider can be a problem with small hive beetle, wax moth grubs or other bees robbing the remnants, so I prefer solid bases, which is a dead material and does not rot. Rises. Uh, around about 11 millimetres, no more than no more than 12. We try to work around about 11 millimetres. That one's just over 12, and that's why they built ladders. Do you see the little mounds? That means the bees, it's too big for them to walk up. So they actually have to build little bits, and that's why it's got so much little drips and drops on it. Whereas if they have the rises the right space, bee space, no more than 11, you don't get that problem. 10, 10, 10 millimetre in, in Queensland is, especially with, with, the, with the, just the whole vent, it's too narrow, they get overheated but very, very quickly. This here is a nucleus base. It's a purchased one and the purchased ones only have a cross member at the front and the back. We like to have the full length from front to back, not across. This one here only sits on, sits on the rails on that point there and that point there. It can, depending on whether you tie it down, what angle it is, the slope, it could, it could slide off. So that's what you'd be careful of. The other problem, the other problem you get was this, the bought ones, that is the uh, Bernie board. Uh, it's a type of weather text anyway. Yep. But if you put an M-lock around there, that'll start to, start to, to damage the, the, the corners. I like to have my entrances with what I call a 707 landing board. It's an extended area for when the heavily loaded nectar carrying bees come into land. They don't miss it. So on top of, top of that, you've got your, got, got your first super. That, that, that's, your, that's your brood box. Uh, we'll, we'll just go through this quickly from now on then. So, so on, on top of, it, of your base you have your brood box. That, that's, a nuke, that's a nuke box that goes on your nuke. Then you've got your different types of excluders. There's a whole range of excluders. That we find the wire ones are the best, but you've got to be very, very careful when you're working your hives, especially with, with, your, with your hive tool, so that you don't spread those wires. If you spread those wires, allow the queen to get through, all hell breaks through. It'll take you two or three hours to find that queen. And sure as eggs, you'll be on the last bloody frame that you look at, every time. Here you see a plastic excluder, also a wire excluder. They're about half the cost of what the, what the metal ones are. This is one that's been cut down, that's for a five, one of our five frame nukes. These here that you see here are four frame nukes. Uh, so uh, for the one person that's only got one or two hives, the plastic excluder would probably be sufficient. But when you put them back together again, and we'll, we'll, show, we'll show later afterwards when we put all this together. You've got to make sure that your, your queen is not up the top of your frames because after a while that plastic extruder will buckle. Like, like Have this, a look at this one. Like this one here. I've got this one here to show you, yeah, that exact thing. They're more hassle than they're worth. Go steal from the start. So, so that, that's your first one, then you've got the excluder, so your queen can't get above into your honey supers. Then you've got your next super. Under super with, with a sticky or, or foundation and you can take the whole nine frames off in one, one foul swoop. That, that's been the radiation plant. That come back yesterday. So that's, and all, all, that, all, their, all their hives have got the numbers on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the back and front. Uh, with their honey hives, it'll have a bigger number. That's, not, that's a honey, honey soup there also, but all their honey hives is, is a thicker number and it's only on the back, it's not on the front. But their, but their honey supers are all front and back in a smaller number. So when you send the stickies, you send them in the box? Oh yeah, just, just, just like that, except, yeah. except for the tray. That they get wrapped in, in the plastic like, like Lyle said. If supers are not irradiated, there is a lot of extra work required to check small hive beetle, larva and wax moth grubs. 
every seven days before they're put back on the hose. There's a wax moth grub. Where oh, that's, right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, we put those in a different uh, what's on, didn't we? Yeah, we put them up on the rack. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is the one that was the second on the floor. Yep. We'll save that for day three. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 That'll be other examples. That, that, that's a wax moth grub there, and they, they, those eggs can lay dormant for over 12 months. So guys, um, storage of stickies we'll talk about heavily on day four, I think. Yeah. If you extract your honey, put them in a box and leave them for a month, you'll come back, there'll be nothing left. Yeah, there'll be nothing left, yeah. The eggs, the eggs that are in your stickies at all time of pests are phenomenal. And that's why radiation can destroy those pests as well. So imagine if you had 50 stickies sitting there in a container and you left them for a month, you come back, all your combs would be dead. All gone from wax moth or small hive beetle or something. Because the eggs are there at all times. And if you just radiate them, can you store them for longer? Yeah, oh, indefinitely. Yeah. Indefinitely. I, I, I've had, I've had uh, supers that uh, radiated, I didn't use for nine months. Mine's a, seal, mine's a seal with, with paper top uh, with, or, or, or glad wrap or whatever, but totally sealed. Not so much glad wrap because the cockies can chew, chew holes in glad yeah. wrap. But we, this, is, this is the way we seal, we, we, we put them on, or another tray. Instead of putting the, the skateboard on top, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put another tray on, on, on top. Yeah. You can store them for a century after being irradiated. <laughs> nothing will as 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 get in. As long as nothing can get in. That's right, that's the golden rule. That, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yep. Here you see a whole range of different types of lids. This lid has four one inch holes in it or 25 millimeter and I consider not sufficient for Queensland climate. These lids here are my design, 1985 vintage and uh, I've, I've, I haven't lost a hive uh, through a small hive beetle since, uh, since the incursion in 2000. That, that, that's, a, that's a standard, standard size. Why do you put the mesh on the outside? Well, logic, getting back to logic. You put it on the inside, the bees will popularise it. Yeah. What, what they will do is, they, they will popularise this inside here, and you just get your hive tool and just cut it straight out. And you let know, the occasional one will do it, depending on, on, on the hybrid uh, queen and, and bees. The dark material there, yeah. on the outside. Yeah, that, that's all popular seeds. All, all the off-shelf ones are meshed on the inside, aren't they? Yeah. Now we've also got these here, this, this is what we call a lid come base. So we, we can we can get out, out the road and so you can see. So so we, we can have we can have a we, we can have a nucleus hive for down here probably easier. Yeah. Right, so we can have a nuke with, 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 with an entrance facing that way. We can go up the second story with another nuke and a queen facing the other way. Then if we tie if we tie it down to the stand, we can have another one of these facing the other way. So we can get, we can go four high. About, yeah. about, about twenty. We have, we have one facing that way, the next one facing that way, the next one facing that way. Just with alternate them for the whole stand. Yep. So if you if you didn't have that, you would have you would have to have what uh, ten stands. And double the equipment. So you just, you dub, double the equipment. So they're all nukes. They're not they're not supers on top. Yeah, that's a super. A nuke super. That's a nuke super. They're all separate colonies. Colony one, colony two, colony, colony three, three, colony, colony four. four. Got, separate you colonies. Have, you got to have a tie underneath, underneath your stand, otherwise a bit of wind. Oh, no. We use that in level three queen rearing. Yep. So you can have three, you know, three colonies in one stack, yep. rather than one. You know, otherwise you're spreading out across the field. Yep. Would you use that for normal new rearing? For queen. As soon as they build up into second, you've got to kind of take them down. Otherwise, you'll have a tower. <laughs> Yeah, so they work until they're a single and then, then no more. Yeah. It's just, yep. it's just, it's just and we'll show you down there. So when, you see it, when you see it with live bees, it makes so much more sense. Yeah. Yep. Right, and so this, this is a, a full vented lid. So you put your first is a four frame nuke, you need a tie around it, and so it's for transportation. Bees generate an enormous amount of heat, and you can suffocate, a, especially a triple eye. Within 20 minutes, if you haven't got, if you haven't got full ventilation, if, if you, if ever you buy a, hot, buy a full full hive, it's best to make one of these these full vented lids up, so you put on top, so you don't, don't, don't uh, kill your bees. Yeah. If someone was to come buy a nuke with a four frame lid with one little hole in the front and one little hole in the back, I wouldn't sell it to them. You, you, would, you, would, you would, wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be taking. They'd be dead before they're in the car. Yep. They'd overheat that quick. They've got to have a transport lid. 
Yeah. And of course, the last but not, well, not near the last is, is your rain hoods. And they, these, these are 100 millimeter longer than what your, your front and back so that you don't get rain in. And just a touch wider than what the what the what's the name is what your lid is. That, that's one. That's one for your nukes. And, and like the last but not least is, is M lock. We use M locks to tie everything down with. Because if you're if you're doing three and four high, you can't rely on stones. Otherwise, the wind, especially yeah. if you're out in the overlook, you and, and, and your hive will split. You put that over the rain. Right. Go, goes yeah, goes right around the whole lot. Especially if, if, especially if you've got if you've got these uh, normal lids, you find sometimes, especially in the hot weather, you'll need to put a 12 millimetre or half inch a piece of timber or whatever underneath your lid, lift your lid if you're if you're high enough to bees, so that if they start to hang out, that they'll go back inside. Because the heat, the heat in there, you find those 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 small vents will be clogged up anyway. But if you look here, this this is a 20 the standard hole. This is 25 millimetres, but have a have a look at the the gauze that's there. That's, by the time you take the thickness and the size of the hole into consideration, there's probably only equivalent of about a half inch hole if you're lucky. So that, that's your other problem. And then they propolise them up and... Yep. And, and, and they don't work.